Today, I'm going to share with you how to apply a specific color to any object using HSB values in Photoshop. So let's say this is the color that your client gave you and he or she wants the shirt to be of the exact same color. Maybe the client gave you the hex code. Maybe they gave you the exact color. Either way, it's pretty simple. Now, once you have the hex code, just remember that 8C1159. So all you have to do is to create a new layer and you can actually name this sample and with a big brush just for the foreground color set to the same color which was 8C1159. Hit OK and with the opacity and flow at 100 just dab. Also do not forget to note down the HSP values of this color. To do that get back to the color picker tool and with that exact color still selected notice the HSP values. So it is 325, 88 and 55. Simply write that down. You can use the text tool for that. All right. So this is the color that we are dealing with and these are the HSP values. 325 is hue, 88 is saturation and 55 is brightness. Keep in mind it's brightness. It is not lightness. Both are different. Now with the background layer selected above that, let's create a hue saturation adjustment layer. Now, since he is wearing blue, we don't have to make any selection. We can actually target that exact color. And that is the beauty of this method. So with the hand selected right there, just click on his shirt. Now, as you can see from the drop down menu, blues are selected and at the bottom, a range of blues is also selected. Just increase the hue and the saturation to the right just to see which areas are included here. We need to include more. So we would just extend the range to the right a little bit and to the left. And as we do that, all of the shirt is now selected. You can keep on extending, but if you extend too much, you will see that the skin will slowly begin to get selected. So be watchful of that. Once the targeting looks spot on, just set the hue and saturation back to normal positions by double clicking on them and it sets them back to normal. Notice that this range is now named as science 2. Just keep that in mind for future references. Now we need to sample an area from his shirt that we will match to this color. And for that, select the color sampler tool right there. It's in the eyedropper group. Select that and make sure the sample size is pretty large. 11 by 11 would work. Now let's zoom in into a place with even color. I think this would be all right. Just click on in there. And now it shows you the RGB values in the info panel, right? Let's bring the info panel a little bit to the left, but we want to see the HSB values. How do we get that? Click on the drop down and choose HSB. Now you already have guessed what we have to do. So we have to bring these values to match with that of these values. Make sense now? All right, so let's zoom out, set the info panel to the left and open up the hue saturation properties by double clicking on the symbol of the hue saturation adjustment layer. Now keep in mind it was inside science 2. That's why I told you to keep that in mind for future references. We need to set the hue such that the new value is 325. Right now the hue is how much? 224. So let's try to increase it to 325. I think that would be 101. And there you have 325 at the top. If you want to look at how it's changing the image simultaneously, let's place the properties at the top so that you can see what's happening. Now we need to make adjustments so that the saturation goes from 69 to 88 and the brightness goes from 41 to 55. But the problem is right here, we have lightness. We do not have brightness. And that is what can get a little tricky. So if you change the saturation, you would notice that the brightness also changes right over here. So you need to play with these two sliders in such tandem so that you get these exact values. So the way to approach it is this, just increase the saturation so that it's higher than 88. So I'm gonna go a little higher and have something like 94 and then slowly and gradually start increasing the lightness and you will notice the saturation comes down. It comes down to 88. Now the saturation is around 88 and 89 but is the brightness around 54 and 55? Yes, it is. See, we achieved that in just one take. If it doesn't happen, just keep on increasing slowly and gradually and then keep on increasing the lightness. Just dance these sliders together in coordination and you will get it, I'm absolutely sure. However, still the sliders are not very close. It's 89, it's 88. So let's keep on increasing the lightness. All right, that's not working. Let's increase the saturation even further and start increasing the lightness. All right, 
It's very close now, 88, 54. Let's go 59 and keep on increasing the lightness as well. There you have it, 88, 55. And more often than not, you would notice that these are in increments of 10. So if it's 29, this one is 59. Sometimes if it's 49 at the bottom, it would be 39. So the interesting thing here is that for the most part, the increments would be in tens. And there you have it, my friend. So here is the before and here is the after. You have an exact match. Now, if this sampler is bothering you and you want to get rid of that, well, just make sure you have the color sampler tool selected and hold the alt key or the option key. Just hover over it. A scissor will show up. Click on it and that will go away. Now, do keep in mind there are certain limitations to this technique. Have a look. The original color is a little dark. However, if you wanted something very bright, that would be difficult to achieve. So let's say your client gave you a color like this super bright red color. All right, let's make it even more saturated. And now let's just create a sample of that color right over here. Now this, my friend, is going to get real tough. First of all, let us create a sample right over here. Now make sure we are looking at the HSB values. Remember what our target was? It was science 2. Now we just need to set the hue to 344. It's 324 right now. Let's get to 344. All right, the hue is easy. What about saturation and lightness? This is where the problem would be. Saturation is 96, brightness is 94. So let's go a little higher than 96. It's 99 right now. Let's increase the brightness. See, we're getting 96, 64. Let's try that one more time. It is just not possible. Even if you go all the way to 100 and you try to increase the lightness, you cannot reach this value. So there you go, my friend, that is the limitation of this technique. You cannot have stark differences. Now, to combat that, you can, of course, create a curves adjustment layer. But if you're creating a curves adjustment layer, why not use the technique that we discussed before where we used curves? It's just that it's a little more time taking and you have to do selections and maskings. And sometimes if the curves are just not right, it can create some weird color shifts. But for the most part, it works brilliantly. And that is why it is essential to learn and understand various techniques. So this is the match that we had originally made. And if it accidentally affected some other areas, which it has slightly, don't worry, just select the mask and just erase these additional areas that it affected. Probably a little bit right here as well. Just erase that and you're good to go. So that's how to use the H, S and B values to apply a specific color to any object in Photoshop. By the way, now you might ask, what if he was wearing something black or white or gray? What if he didn't have any color? How would we target that? Well, in that case, you would have to create a mask of that area and then apply hue saturation. Let me quickly show that to you. Let's say he was wearing a gray shirt. Let me merge that for you. Now, we would need to make a selection of the shirt. You can use any method of your choice. I'm just going to simply quickly use the quick selection tool. Now, this is not an accurate selection. With the selection active, we would create a hue saturation adjustment layer. But this time, we would check colorize. And using the same techniques, we would match this value to this value right here. There you go, my friend. So these are the values if he was wearing gray. So that's all for this lesson. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.